Is or it's my own every social media platform. <laughs> you see what I did there. Hi, <laughs> sorry. All right, so yeah, uh, Afcon is going to be live on KBC Channel One, our mother channel, and the alternative games are going to be on Y two five four. Ah, yeah, VDJ Khalifa. Yeah, yeah, kama kahida. Nikumoto, nikumoto. Na fa ikuleti amaji. To zima zima moto. But uh, <laughs> e conversation ya play ke e na na me me kuingia sana ya. Oh, okay, so uh, uh-huh. see, me jua zima DJ tu na semanga play something good. Mm-hmm. Amani ya zibila. Mm-hmm. Something good. Mm-hmm. Kama kitu ni poor, you deliver. Right. Now, by those is out, we're going to guest DJ. Right, yeah. yeah. So, take care, uh, do the honors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Tuta, 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 Yes. And Mona, she's Miss Melanin Munya. <laughs> we don't record with our group. She's here. Uh, she's a female DJ. But right about now, it's time for the Pabli Sis to come through for Social Friday. But before that, Joy Muchachi, take it over. Yeah, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Social Friday, Maze. We are here. Khalifa's here. Bar Moses is here. We have two wonderful ladies on set with us. And they are publicists. They're going to introduce themselves. They're going to let us know what they do. We're going to actually kind of discuss what the world is all about. We're going to really discuss you. And then later on, we're going to be touching a bit. Well, Bar Moses will touch a bit more on the AFCON, Pamoja and Valentine. And do remember that we have a guest DJ, uh, DJ Mimi, beautiful young lady who's seated at the back, Uko. And we can't wait to hear her tune and her mix and whatever she has to display for us. Remember, if you want to reach out to us, you want to talk to us, you can do so on our social media handles. That's Facebook and Twitter, Y254 channel. That's also on Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. And then on YouTube, you can subscribe to us. Subscribe, subscribe. Man, say subscribe. If I can say you want to subscribe, subscribe, you guys. We want you to subscribe to us on YouTube. Remember, you can watch a repeat of this particular show at 2 p.m. today. And so, let's dive in. Let's get to know what publicism is all about, or publicity, and we'll leave and ask them to say the difference between the two because I hear this chatter that ah it's a publicist no it's publicism no it's a do what so we're going to know the real deal what it's about welcome young ladies thank you uh, we're yeah. glad to have you on set do you remember that you're sharing a microphone and so when you're answering kind of pass it back and forth yes so a ah, lady with a wonderful head wrap on her hair I love it um, thank you very much uh uh-huh. what's your name dear my name is me Mwangi. okay Aha, uh-huh. Mimwangi. Can you please ca- kind of let us know the places in which you're publicizing for? Um, currently, I'm working with a corporate. Okay. Anga IMAX Cinemas. Uh-huh. And when I'm not at the cinema, I'm in the music industry. Ah. Yes, okay. working with live bands. Uh huh. Um, Zionites, Mighty Zionites. I'm pretty sure you've heard about them. Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, I have. Yeah, so, so currently, Oka. yes. Uh huh. Yeah. I see. And could. Uh, it oh, looks like you want to say something. Your yeah, name is me. Yeah, me Mwangi. Me Mwangi. Yes, M I H. No, M I H. So M I H. Yes, Can that's my brand name. Yeah. Can we start over? All right. As something. All right. Ah, Karibu sana, young lady. Thank you. Yes. My name is Bill Hangaruya. Uh-huh. Um, I mostly work in the entertainment business. I'm a okay. freelance publicist for. I think that's the fitting term. I've worked with Naiboy, Rankadam, Sioka, Giuliani. Mm-hmm. Yeah, name them. Ah, name them. Yes. I just named them. You've worked with them. Yes, I've worked with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, You've been out here. <laughs> I've been working. You've been working. Yes. Mm. All right. Uh, I'm struggling. Joy, uh, this industry yeah. is, uh, is queen dominated, yeah? I think so. Actually, mm. most of the publicists I've met are ladies, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the ones I've met. You know? yeah. yeah. Maybe you Please can tell us. us. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe ladies are, are a bit aggressive. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how, how do you feel, Bill? I know some men. I know some men that are here. Yeah. yeah. I think some the publicists is the key word. Uh-huh. Uh, the publicist for uh, Magic's Anger mm-hmm. in the stable mm-hmm. is a dude. I think the one that works with um, Brown Mauzo is a dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know their names, but they're dudes. They're dudes. So yeah. they're dudes in the industry as yes. well. Yeah. Also, my boy, I'm still gopi, man. I'm not saying you're industry as well. Yeah, so be sure to interact with us. Remember, White Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on Instagram, and White Five Four on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag Afcon Eco KBC. Uh, Social Friday is another hashtag that you should not forget. And why in the morning? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's jump right back into it, Cindy. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what is the right way? 
for me to introduce because I hear that uh, publicists, um, or I can say I'm in publicism, or um, I'm, I'm to publicity, or I'm a publicist. Which one, what is the right way to say this so that you don't offend somebody in this field? Because sometimes someone does snap a little bit and they're like, no. So how, do you, how does it go? In my opinion, I think it depends with who you're dealing with. Okay. Because there's a difference between a publicist mm -hmm. and a PR professional. Okay. Because a P PR can mean a promotional professional. Basically, yes. they deal in promo of mm -hmm. all sorts. Mm -hmm. And then a PR prof a publicist basically deals with conveying messaging out there. So if an artist has released a song, you're in charge of messaging. What, what are we saying about their song? Um, what is our brand? What is a communication? For example, if Naibo has released two in one, what are we talking about the song? What do we want people to remember about the song? Um, so in charge of all messaging that's going to be on social media, you might not be the one doing the social media, but you're like, on all social media, could we talk about being Kenyan, unity, and things like that? Um, yeah, so a PR professional basically is just like distributing it to the right people, ensuring like, oh, the DJ Khalifa has a song, DJ John Falme has a song, you know, everyone has a song, radio, radio street clubs, everyone. So those two are different. A person who snaps is probably a, a, a person with problems with their ego. I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Like for some people, titles are so so important. You like you better get my title right, or just don't address me. To some people, it's that way. But I'm glad how chill you are, and I think that's how it should be, honestly. And I'm glad that you've separated the two be, um, between, just in case there are also some viewers who wanted to know the difference, and I also kind of wanted to know the difference. And also, if I could ask the same question to you, where do you think you fall? Under which category do you think you fall under? Um, uh, I would say it depends. It depends with which client I'm dealing with at that particular moment. Because when it comes to, like I mentioned, the corporate I'm working with right now, uh, I, am, I am also in charge of the PR bit of it, like the general, the whole thing. Coming up with the strategy, like what, what, what message are we, do we want to put out there? And also getting the message there, as well as, um, checking the media like is it is it are the media doing exactly what we want them to do so it depends yes yeah yeah it depends with the client and what the client wants yeah now that we've gotten all the you know the things that we need to get out of the way the specific stuff let's loosen up a little bit and talk a little bit more about your world on a day-to-day -day basis when you wake up um i'm sure the first thing you check is your phone yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> i'm very sure of that and to kind of see uh, which artists has reached out to you or uh, which artist did you speak to who has responded to you back and forth the communication that's going on between you guys and um the people that you're working for in the entertainment industry so maybe i can just quickly ask how does it what was your first the, the, the first person that you worked with who I can say is well known how did you feel when you first began to publicize for them to do publicity for them with uh, PR all right uh, the first yeah the first the very first person I worked with was Maria you remember Maria Ogopa DJs yeah she is the first person that i worked with i did the image we were doing a photo shoot so i came up with the whole concept for the photo shoots and that's where my love for pr began i, I started seeing it from a different perspective like you can't be in charge of what you want people to see what you want people to know about a particular brand so that's where my love for it began yes yeah. Where did Maria go, by the way? She's yeah. around. She's around. Yeah, she is around. Maybe not as a musician, uh -huh. but she is around. All right. I'm interested in that statement you made about uh, you can be in charge of what you want your fans to see. Yes. So the industry is all a lie, yeah? Um, not <laughs> a lie. A lie is a bit harsh. Uh -huh. It's <laughs> But yes, it's thought about. Uh -huh. It's a. It's premeditated like mm -hmm. yeah everything is premeditated yes premeditated right. yeah interesting no no coincidence uh, sorry, could you pass the mic to her? Sure. Just Kidogo. Mm -hmm. I like the way you asked that question because they answered two different things at the same time. She said no, you answered yes. And um, she kind of uh, corrected herself and then you kind of agreed with her. What was going on through your mind when Barry asked that question? 
that well, immediately you said, yes, the industry is a lie. It is a lie because obviously every everything that's out there is curated for con for consumption the people um if you see the hairstyle whatever he's saying everything is curated to promote an image to promote a, a, a show though there are times that accidents happen mm -hmm. like i can just wake up and um by just being myself mm -hmm. someone assumes i'm something and sometimes it fits the brand but my so hair I is just, real my hair. no <laughs> <laughs> I just well yeah it. yours <laughs> but like for example the bahati mm -hmm hair for example the mm -hmm. other day was just curated his hair is not that long overnight mm -hmm. you know it was curated for like social media people to talk about that mm -hmm. um and that definitely drives an agenda mm -hmm. whichever one he has at mm -hmm. a specific time um sometimes though you can wake up and people are just talking about you accidentally by mm -hmm. association maybe you were in java and willie paul was also in java and so all of you now are like in the same conversation mm -hmm. you know um i saw a show yes uh, yesterday a president was standing with a, a person who um what had married a child bride. And by just taking the photo of virtue of that, everyone was assuming the president supported child marriages. Are you getting? So the pre president is in a conversation for child marriages, which he never said, but you know? So it's sometimes perfect. you can just wake up and uh -huh. just that you find bring yourself. That up. It's perfect that you bring that up. Because uh, as a PR person, you're also in charge of uh, damage control. Yes. Yeah? So what happens when uh, we start concluding that uh, the president is pro-child marriage? Um, I, 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 that what is the first step? Obviously, the first step is to find out how the people decided this, mm -hmm. you know, like what is the source of this information? And then you see the photo, then you do your background, who let this mistake happen, who allowed the president to take a photo with the child's um, marriage uh, believer. And then after that, now you actually ask the president, what does he actually believe? Mm -hmm. And then f the politics of it. You know, sometimes um, the president can come out right and say, oh, I don't believe in child marriages because of religion, because some religions accept this. Um, some parents accept this freedom of, all of rights, and then there is sexuality. Um, instead of allowing our teenagers to just get pregnant, some parents decide to marry their kids early mm -hmm. so that they have responsibility. So the parent can just, our president can just wake up and say, yo, it's banned. So the politics of, culture, of yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So after you've dealt with that, then you decide what do we want to stand on? Mm -hmm. Which side are, are we agreeing to fall on? And so then after that, you, there's process. a whole process. Right. Yeah, <laughs> like I remember my artist, uh, we woke up one morning and Calligraph had decided that my art, I uh, put the Jerry, one of my artists I worked with mm -hmm. was his girlfriend, which was a lie. Yeah, it was on partial, which was a lie just because Jerry was a video vixen in his video. And Jerry wasn't pushing that message. She was all about affirmation and stuff. I call Kali and, and they're like, oh no, we didn't put that, it's impartial. So we call impartial and they say, Kali is the one that told us this. I told them, if you don't pull this article now, we're, we're putting a cease and desist. I call a lawyer to just scare them. Call them Rewind, and tell Rewind, them. you're putting a what? You call Assist and desist. All right. Yeah, yeah. stop yeah. talking about my Knowledge, artist. Knowledge, yeah. Wine yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's stop talking about, it's, a, it's an order by the law, a court of law, that mm -hmm. says stop talking about my artist, um, defaming my artist. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're talking in any manner about my artist, mm -hmm. which would have proved wrong or, or unprofitable for them at that time, uh -huh. because my artist at the time was getting a lot of clicks. Right. So they would be losing out. All so right. they they chose the smart thing. They changed the headline. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is one way artists earn revenue. Yeah. Lost huge. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. In Kenya, it's not a big deal. Uh -huh. But yeah, ab abroad it's a huge thing. Like you mess mess up with me. Just some, like the other day, I saw a Bella Bella Thorn. Um, mm -hmm was Hoopy, Hoopy Goodball was talking about uh, her and um, sending nudes intentionally. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's a lot coming out and Hoopy's about to cough a lot of money out of that. So yeah, it's a huge way of making money. All right. So you kind of just have to be careful what you're saying out for there. For sure, for sure. And if you have a good publicist, she's always on top of that. She knows who said what and why they said that and the agenda behind that. Mm -hmm. And so they're ready to cap it. Little investigators 100%. put on to get like <laughs> investigators, <laughs> also paramedics who come and fix it real quick. Uh, and wow, well, yeah. and then Jan lawyers as well. Uh, and journalists as well. Because well. you have to do write ups for your yes. clients as well. Yeah, ah. sure. But yeah. me, I'm interested in your field. Uh, you work with a lot of reggae artists, yes. and publicity for reggae artists is different because they're laid back, they don't like scandals, yeah. they just like to eat their sugar cane, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, and uh, just do their music and stuff. How is uh, how is it doing publicity for reggae artists? Well, it's a bit challenging uh -huh. because uh, one 
because already there's a stereotype out mm -hmm. there like as um the kind of agenda or mm -hmm. the kind of information out there that is linked with reggae is not very good mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so you have to clean this yeah, first. So the first step is to clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first step is to clean it and ensure that reggae artists, they are musicians just like any other musician. Mm -hmm. And reggae music is not for thugs and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. It's actually, it's actually promotes, you know, one love, you know, that kind of thing. That's the agenda, the agenda behind. The time, there's yeah. actually a message in the exactly. songs. Exactly. Yeah. And positive message, you yeah. know. Yes. So... It's a bit challenging. It's a bit challenging. Yeah. So after the but, cleanup, but uh, most of them I've interacted with, they don't want to be posted so much. They don't want to be out there yeah, so much. Yeah, you know, they Rasta just, man is uh -huh. a humble man. Uh -huh. Yeah. How do you deal with this when you're trying to make money at the end of the day? Uh, at the end of the day, I have to explain it to them that if you are investing your time in doing this music, you it has to pay, you know, it has to pay. It's a business. So there are things we need to do. Fine, uh, maybe we don't, we, we wouldn't have to do, to pull some, there's no bad publicity, but I'll say negative. We don't have to pull some negative uh, moves for you to be, to be famous. Yeah. We can do it right. Mm -hmm. We can push our agenda, mm -hmm. uh, which, which is within, music. yes, mm -hmm. and positive music, mm -hmm. positive music. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes. so that's what you kind of like you do you sit down with the artist at some point and tell them like look you know the 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 image around reggae is a b c d but we kind of want to change that image but still let it be reggae and then you tell them maybe some point has to try out yeah actually that's the first thing we do okay mm -hmm. that's the first thing we we sit down mm -hmm. and get to understand where they want to go and then we figure out together how to get there to make money out of it and at the end of the day, also to promote the positive message that you want to put out. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm getting is understand the brand that you're yes, working with? Yes, you have to understand the brand. Mm -hmm. You have to understand the brand. Mm -hmm. Can I just quickly ask, um, you've explicitly said that you're working um, with artists who are in reggae yes. and on radio. Yes. Um, it sounds like you've really chosen a particular path to follow. What led you to choose reggae? Um, what happened to the hip hop and the R and B? No, not that there's a problem, but there's always a reason why someone is drawn to a particular kind of music. Because um, you're a fan, number one. Yes. <laughs> no, yes. I mean, if you're also yeah. Rastafari, because a part of the religion, that's fine. Which no, which is a reason? Um, I, I just love reggae music. Yeah, and it's beautiful music. I, I, yes, I love reggae music, and I also love um, like healthy living, and you know that kind of that kind and of positivity. Lifestyle. Yes, and, and positivity. positivity. Yes. And one love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and one love. I yes. love that. And so, radio, why radio? Are you trying to, will you ever, do you see yourself venturing into television? No, or, not only or, radio. Okay. Yeah, because, um, like, for example, the band I'm working with currently, Mighty Zionites, mm -hmm. they just launched their EP the mm -hmm. other day. Mm -hmm. And we were pushing it even on TV, like you can even subscribe on YouTube, you know. We have the music out there, pushing it on TV, radio, newspaper, like everywhere. Mm -hmm. If we had the fans, we would even put up a billboard. Wow. We, yeah, we're not limiting ourselves this yeah. time around. You yeah. go all out. Yeah. I and see. we are doing it correct. I see. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. So uh, <laughs> I've worked with, uh, with a lot of artists. And artists are really tough people to work with, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm one of them. I'm sorry <laughs> to my publicist, my manager. Are you tough to work with, yeah. Barry? It's, Just say the it truth. Happens, are you it tough happens. It happens. Sometimes <laughs> you've recorded like a whole bunch of songs. And then you promised, guys, you promised your publicist by August we have seven tracks. And then it gets to August, you're like, ah, I'm not in the space of releasing this kind of music. I want to record new songs. <laughs> Have you experienced something like this? All the time. All the time. All the time. How do you deal with things like this? When the number one job of a publicist is to keep the artist relevant when you're releasing product and when you're not. Mm -hmm. So in between, you have to find things that ensure your topic, you're in the conversation, mm -hmm. you're constantly in the headlines. So we play with other things. Mm -hmm. We play with your image, we do photo shoots, we get people talking about like, for example, the hair, you know, things like that, changing your look, doing photo shoots, raunchy, whatever uh, we're trying to push at the time. Mm -hmm. So we do that in the time as we try and talk to you about like releasing content and coming out, uh, coming out on that. The other way to go around that is 
mostly talking to the management and getting the artists a big collaboration. That should get them excited about like, you know, the, the, the gist and the clicks and the views and the momentum that's going to give them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because artists are creatives, they move emotionally and their art, you can't force it. Mm -hmm. You know, we'd love to put a gun and say, yo, seven tracks like now. Like yeah, Nine. yeah, like shoot nine. <laughs> <laughs> like seven tracks now, boss. But it's not possible. I wish it was that easy, but yeah, there are so other ways to motivate the artist. So, you mm -hmm. know, if you do a nice photo shoot and everyone's mm -hmm. talking about them, or stage even, like get them to a gig, mm -hmm. like a VIP uh, to a gig, like say Jamie's song or something. Mm -hmm. So, then everyone is like, yo, bro, where's the song? Where's yeah. the song? Then people feel the love. Because mm -hmm. artists are also creatures to feel, uh, feel on feedback. Mm -hmm. So, you have to understand the artist and the clients wow. you're working with. So if you move like that, then your artist is constantly going to I think be my publicist is fired. No, 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 no. We just need to have a coffee. No, nah, don't fire her. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to you, me. Uh, uh, how do you deal with these kind of things? Uh, artist egos, uh, artists uh, complaining, artists be talking about, I'm not in the space of recording right now. I don't want to record music right now. I just want to go for vacation first and come back and record. Things like that. Um, first, the first thing is you, we sit down, mm -hmm. we create the strategy together mm -hmm. because I don't want to force things on you. Mm -hmm. Like two months, I'm telling you, hey, we, we want to do this, this, this. No. So we come up with a strategy together and we move step by step together, mm -hmm. like giving ourselves ultimatums and deadlines. Mm -hmm. By this day, from you, I need this and this and this. From me, this is what I'll be doing. So we move together. You know, mm -hmm. unity, yeah. Right. yeah. Unity is that thing. <laughs> unity is that thing. Yeah. And can I ask, since we're talking about good publicity, bad publicity, and sometimes, you know, when we're watching some of the lives of the celebrities, we do come across some things, and we sit down and telling ourselves, ah, for sure, this is just a publicity stunt. For sure, <laughs> you know? And I just have to ask, at which point does, 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 does an artist reach? And I know it's about keeping someone relevant. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes someone can stay out of relevancy for so long that they have to come back with a bang. Mm -hmm. You know, someone has been silent for the past, I don't know, six, seven months. Mm -hmm. They get a nice new posh publicist who comes in and tells them we need to do A, B, C, and D. And then, you know, they say that maybe we should try a stunt. Mm -hmm. Does that ever happen? And, and, and <laughs> why? Why must there be a stunt pulled? I don't think that applies to regular artists, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so everybody. You know, it could, well, it could apply well, to everyone because, sorry. Yeah, yeah. as, as um, one of the basics of publicity, like there's no bad publicity, you know? Publicity is publicity. Mm -hmm. So if at that particular time, you and the brand you're working with agree on that and you think it works for you, mm -hmm. then why not? Right. Well, but if it doesn't work, if you don't have to do it, mm -hmm. like if it's not the only option you have, mm -hmm. then you decide on an alternative. And maybe Bill Hur can tell us why in some situations is it the only option some artists have? Because in some situations, that's it. Well, How does it get to that point? First of all, just to comment on what she said about sure, sure. Yeah, PR 101, there's no bad publicity. My comment on that is, I, I think we misuse that, you know. Um, I believe that when, when we say that, we mean like, for example, um, say I'm Kim Kardashian, I'm moving around, and then I happen to take a photo and everyone thinks I'm commenting on black people, but then that photo also trends. That's, what, that's not what I intended. It's a negative connotation because it, um, it is coping or there's a word for it I've forgotten it but um, either way it's getting clicks yeah so when I move with it still that's what it means when we say no bad publicity it doesn't mean go out there and release a sex tape bro <laughs> so there's no bad publicity you yeah, know yeah. Um, it doesn't mean intentionally push that because sometimes you're pushing the edge too much I'm yes. a Christian artist and the only scandals in my name are like you know sex CG drugs and mom is watching yeah. and, and mom is, your mom is probably stressing so. and yeah, yeah and you're like actually the, your gospel artist that's stretching it you know yeah. um, if maybe your gospel artist the kind of stance you're supposed to be looking at the collaborations 
I don't know, be as far as being stubborn. And like, you know, those things like... I can Prosperity. Have, yes, you know, I can have Mariah pull those stunts of like, so Drew blocking a whole hotel. Pull yeah, those stuff stunts. like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. don't, 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 don't make her start questioning your Christianity. You've pushed the bar too far mm-hmm. on that. Mm-hmm. So bringing that back, the reason why for some artists they feel like it's the only uh, course they need to go to is because they waited too long to be relevant. Maybe they're like ah. you with the seven songs and they keep postponing. So mm-hmm. you tell me six months, six months comes and then music will push, mm-hmm. another six months, another six months. You like if you think about the line. ringtone marrying situation, it's a drastic uh, move just to get clicks. Mm-hmm. But the reason he's doing this is because it's no longer relevant. When was the last time he released content? Mm-hmm. And now he's seeing all these Willie Pauls, they're moving with content. Like Sheesh. that. So he's like, <laughs> Uh, well, you know, let me try my own. I, I can show them how to do we'll this. We'll end the first segment at that. Mm. We'll take a short break, then we'll be back with tomorrow. Why in the morning? Social Friday is the hashtag. Uh, why in the morning is the other hashtag? And uh, yes, Afcon Eco KBC is the other hashtag. And VDJ Khalifa will be taking you through this break. Then we'll be back with tomorrow. Why in the morning? Don't go nowhere.